trading. Okay, so SOPs are important. What are SOPs? These are standard operating procedures. These break down how you like tasks done. What people forget is telling the VAs why, the whys of your business. Why is the task important? Why did you start the business in the first place? Help them see the overall picture, helps them to do the job at a high level. You need to explain the whys first before listing down the steps of the task. Another important thing people forget to do with their SOPs is adding the important reminders. Um, the, the exceptions to certain situations like um, only schedule podcasts between 9 and 11. Um, don't schedule on Wednesdays unless I tell you to. Or leave emails from my lawyer or accountant for me to handle. So you got to set the, the rules. You got to set the special exceptions as well, the reminders. Leaving them these important notes or reminders at the end of the SOPs helps you, helps save you from the mistakes down the line. So the SOPs should have three parts, the whys, the steps, and the important reminders. For training, we highly recommend um, creating the SOP first before hiring, um, and then you pay them to go through the ready-made SOPs, let them study it first. After they have a good amount of time to study it, test them on it. Um, have them show you what they learned, then all you have to do is spend a little bit of time helping them perfect the process or explain the parts that didn't 100% that they didn't 100% understand. Um, and then show them how you would do it. So um, we recommend a combination of text videos and images when creating an SOP. This is like the best way to, to get them to learn something. So I used to have SOPs where um, it's just plain text, 11 pages of just plain text. It is overwhelming. So if you can break that down and put a walkthrough video here and there and some images, um, and of course, then listing down the steps in, in detail in a document written down, that'll really help them understand, especially if um, if, if they don't really like reading so much or if, if they're more hands-on when learning, this will help them. So creating the SOPs and, and paying them to, to, to go through those SOPs and um, learn them it themselves is better as opposed to you spending two weeks of your time training them yourself without an SOP. That right there is valuable time that you cannot get back. So have them spend time learning about it, be there to just answer their questions, support them, but also value your time to the highest level and have them learn what they can on their own. 